Hi, I'm Heather from Handbook Tubes, and today is my March reading journal set up. Let me know if you want to see anything in particular in these videos or any changes that you would like to see. But this is uh, my setup for March, my birthday month, the month I'm super, super excited for. I'm using a bunch of my favorite things, so. All right, so starting off negative right away, I do not like this angle and I did film the entire video like this. So if you also don't like it, feel free to either look at my Instagram on the first to see uh, the spread with a better angle and just pictures, or you can go to the end and just look at, you know, the final flip through. Uh, we'll try again next month. It is unfixable now so here we are so this year i am turning 33 i love my age i'm very happy at this stage of life i enjoy being in my 30s a lot uh i should probably stretch a little bit to prevent injuries but besides that i don't have any complaints about this age I am such a huge fan of plants and florals, which is hilarious because I can't keep one alive to save my life. My husband used to buy me plants fully knowing that they were coming here to die, <laughs> but I eventually was like, look, I can't keep it alive. I think we should stop trying. I think I'll go for fake plants and or cut flowers and that will be all we have, which maybe I should start having a plant again, you know, maybe I should. <laughs> of course, that's ignoring the fact that I have cats and dogs and they are not always kind to plants and plants are not always kind to them, which I believe is what happened to the last plant I did have. <laughs> it was a casualty of animal violence. But, you know, when I see Brie at the Lock Bactician and Steph at Novelty Corner with their thriving indoor jungles, I'm just like, oh, I want to be you when I grow up. You don't even understand how much I love that. If I were rich, if I were rich, step number one, somebody to clean my house and do my laundry. Step number two, someone to keep plants alive for me. Let me tell you, I would be so quick, so quick to pay a full-time salary for those things if I, you know, had enough money to actually support a whole another <laughs> family. That's my, my dream. Some people want Birkins. I want someone to keep plants alive. Since none of that is happening in the foreseeable future, I will stick to washi tapes and stickers and shirts and pictures and <laughs> tapestries and coloring books uh, and faux plants for my plant fix. But the point of all that is because it's my favorite thing in the entire world, aesthetics wise, I always use it for my birthday month, which I think I did mention in a 24 and 24 vlog where I got a lot of the stickers that I'm using today. I'm flipping back to other months to see where I placed the month name and deciding how matchy-matchy I want to be or how I want to change it. Sometimes I set up a spread and I realized that I did it completely different from how I have been doing it. That's happened a few different times with a few different elements. But this time I just decided I didn't want to keep having it in the middle for every single month. So I went ahead and put it at the bottom. I will say I don't know that I love the balance of these two pages. I feel like the left ends up quite heavy, even though there's not a lot going on. If turns out quite heavy and then the right turns out quite bare and I don't know that they look great together I'm still kind of looking at them it's been honestly over a week since I set this up that I'm doing the voiceover and it's still a week or two before you see this but I don't know I don't know how I feel about it since I am doing this so early, I decided not to actually fill out my TBR or my plans. If you watched February setup, you know that I planned a whole net galley vlog. And then if you <laughs> are watching this at the very end of February, you know that definitely did not happen. So a lot of my TBR kind of got thrown out the window. Uh, I don't want to have to reserve certain books for March because I put them on the TBR, yada, yada. Uh, it, like, 
panics me a little bit when I do a TBR too early for a specific month because by the time it rolls around, I am in a completely different reading mood, no longer (laughs) interested in any of those options, and, you know, the struggle of being a mood reader. Funnily enough, after this video, you get March anticipated releases, and then the next video, so the first video actually posted in March, is going to be a year-long TBR video. (laughs) But listen, that'll be completely different. That will be different. You don't understand. Like, that will be more flexible. It'll be some bigger projects that I want to do. It'll be books I definitely want to get to. It'll be different. It will be different than not being able to decide what I want to read next week. Don't don't come at me. This is this is a a variation. This is doable. This is a thing that I will definitely accomplish. Uh don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm not. I'm not at all. Why would you even think that? Why would you think that maybe I would be like Heather uh TBRs <laughs> are not your strong suit. They're not your forte. Maybe this is a bad idea. No, it's not. No, it's not. You know why? I'll tell you why. I'm going to be 33. 33 new me. That's what they say. That's what they say. Moving on with our lives from my TBR existential crisis. Another reason why I always use plant themes for March is it is the beginning of spring. Here in Pennsylvania, it's very much a wish and a prayer. It's not actually spring. We get snow periodically for a couple more months after (laughs) March but you do start to get like the first early spring flowers daffodils crocuses and when I tell you that that is like a sign of life (laughs) it feels like winter might eventually end also not usually in March you get the robins robins are a sign of spring And already we have the Canadian geese back, which again is a sign of spring. There will be no Canadian geese in this spread, partially because I don't have any, but I also don't want any. I do want to get a bunch of bird stickers and do like a, the small, why can't I think of it? Why are like the small birds called, uh, like as a class? (laughs) But like the little chickadees and the tufted titmouse and the the finches, you know, and robins, of course, all those little plump birds. I kind of want to do a spread with them. When I was growing up, my mom had decorations from my grandma. We were poor, so, uh, you know. Everything was based on what you could access. So because of that, when my grandma was done with her decorations, she passed them on to my mom and they were birds. So our living room and most of the main, you know, public living area of the house was decorated in birds. And also my mom is a little bit of a science nut. She always has been. We were homeschooled. So one of her big things was she had a bird feeder by the windows all the time and she had a field guide of bird species and we would have to identify all of them. Um, So I don't know. Birds are a little bit nostalgic for me. They make me think of those decorations and those days and how every bird my mom saw, she would take the time to identify it to us. Um, so anyways, I don't own any bird stickers, but I have them on Etsy. (laughs) Some of them are already singled out and I really want to do one, but I don't know what month I would do that for. Give me your ideas. If you think like Northeast hemisphere, what, uh, what birds or what month would you do birds for? And then my pen has been like weirdly problematic. It keeps on like struggling to make lines in certain areas of the journal. It just happened with the last spread that I made, which I will actually show you after this. Um, And then it's happened again for this monthly spread and I think for a readathon spread too. I don't know what the problem is. I even like opened up a new pen, but it didn't fix it. So this is it. This is the 
final flip through of March. Again, obviously it's not all filled out yet. I left this blank space because I want to see what I plan on doing with it, with it rather than, you know, completing it now when I don't really have any idea. So I'm loving everything that I've done in this journal. I love each year even more than the one before. And this is my TBR spread before the TBR is filled in. 33 books for 33. So sneak peek. That's it. That's my March reading journal. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye.